G'day guys, Cooks here with a bit of an analogy, so stick with me for this video for the first part. I want you to imagine that you've just rung up the pizza shop, right? And you have asked for your favourite pizza. It's all your favourite toppings. You've gone crazy. All your favourite toppings, your crusts, your sauces, your extra cheese, whatever it is you're into. Anchovies if you're a bloody idiot. I mean... <clears throat> pineapple if you like me because pineapple does belong on the pizza fuck you whatever it's all there and it comes in a box and your mouth is watering thinking about this pizza smells good right and you go to open the box and the light bulb goes in your ceiling well that's a bit strange but bugger it you're hungry and you already got the hand in the box you grab a slice and you chomp on it and you go, oh, this isn't what I thought it was. This isn't what I ordered. So you turn the light on and you're sure enough, you've got a mystery pizza. What the hell's in this bloody thing? And you pick it apart a bit and, and you find out what it is and it turns out it's a, pretty much a, just a straight meat lover's barbecue sauce and a thick crust. Okay, you didn't get what you thought you were going to get. You were diddled, you were schmozzled. Right, you were tricked, you were fooled. Now, I want you to do the same thing next time with that thought in mind, right? With statistics, especially statistics in the media, ladies and gentlemen. So, you see a statistic, I don't care what it is, and it says, well, it means this. Now, go back to the pizza analogy. Okay, you've got your box. You think you know what it is, right? It's like the stat. You think you know what it is because you've just been told what it is. You're expecting that that's the truth. But if you actually went and looked at the statistics themselves and how they break down, you might find that the pizza that the media is selling you with the stat, inside the stat, is a lie. <laughs> it happens all the time, okay? Now, I'd give specific examples, but I'm very sure that people are aware of um, the, usually, the usual explanation in the media for something, say, the gender wage gap, are wrong. Does it exist? Yes, but for the reasons the media are telling you, no. So you need to look it up, all right? Because you're going to find out that what they've sold you as a pizza isn't what's in the box. The media are all about making money. The media are all about getting people like you and me to believe their hyperbole and their crap. And just remember, when it comes to statistics, with an overview general statistic of one in 13 cats has fleas, that stat means nothing until you break it down and find out why, that, why one in 13 cats has fleas. It means literally anything they want it to mean for you. To look, Oh, that's terrible. It turns out that one in 13 cat owners are horrible pieces of poop who shouldn't own an animal, and then you find out it was an opinion piece written by some weird greenie from the back of Ninbin in frickin' New South Wales who only likes eating kale three times a week and sawdust four times a week. You know, weird motherfuckers. So, sorry to the people of Ninbin. I've been to Ninbin. Look, if you want to go to Ninbin, go to Ninbin. No, Ninbin's actually a really cool place. Just don't tell the cops you're going there first. <laughs> but, you know, this is what you're going to get from the media. You're going to get people who've got a political axe to grind or a particular social issue axe to grind, and they're going to turn that statistic into whatever they want. That's, that, that's what they're going to sell you. They're going to say, hey, this, this is uh, the statistic, pizza box. This is the reason for the statistic, the pizza. But when you chew on the pizza, you're going to find out that it's not what they're telling you it is. Okay, so once again, don't trust the media when it comes to telling you what to think about a statistic, especially if it's not broken down fully and correctly. It takes people years and university degrees to learn how to break down statistics properly. And I'm not saying journalists aren't capable of it. What I'm saying is most journalists these days aren't journalists. They're there to propagate, propagate anger and rage and outrage so that you and me click on their bloody icons on Facebook or Twitter or wherever it is. So next time, don't trust that the pizza they're selling you is in the box. 
And don't worry about the analogy of 1 on 13 cats because I just made that up. It could be that 1 on 13 cats has fleas, but that's not important unless you're the cat with the fleas. Anyway, guys, I'm Googs. I'll catch you later. Uru.